So let's introduce the idea of a production possibilities frontier. Now, this is a concept that is pretty abstract, but actually is really important uh, conceptually in a lot of different economics contexts. So let's first get a, a definition of what a PPF is. And sometimes we'll just simply use that, um, that abbreviation. So production possibilities frontier. And really everything is in the name. It's talking about the possibilities, what you can possibly produce, what you can possibly produce at the frontier, at the maximum. So it is the maximum possible combinations of output with a given supply of inputs and a given technology. You give me your uh, technical capabilities, you give me the amount of labor and capital and land and so forth, I'll tell you how, what the possible combinations of, of final goods that you can produce when everything is fully employed. So this is the frontier, this is the maximum. But a critical aspect of this is that if you're fully engaged, all of your resources, everybody's being employed, all the, you know, you're really at the most efficient place possible. If you start to want to produce more of the, another good, then you're going to have to give up the production of something else because you got to get the resources from someplace, which is going to bring us to this idea of the opportunity cost of production. Now, opportunity cost very, I mean, it's one of the central ideas of, of economics. It's a beautiful day outside today. The opportunity cost of me being here is taking a nice walk someplace. If you go to a movie, you give up the opportunity to talk with your friends or go to, go to, go to dinner. If you take one class, you can't take another class. So it's a very general concept. We're doing it here. Uh, with a, a PPF really on, on the production side. Okay, so that's an introduction. And you're going to see PPFs generally in two different versions. Okay, one is in a Ricardian model where labor is the only input. I have a separate video about the Ricardian model, but what I want you to keep in mind is if we've got two goods, Y and X, okay, so this is the production of good X, this is the production of good Y, the PPF of a Ricardian model is going to be a straight line, okay? Make a note of that. With labor as the only input, the PPF is going to be a straight line. If we're talking about a neoclassical framework, typically with capital in labor, but it's really what matters is that they're multiple inputs. The PPF is going to be bowed out. Okay, so very general idea: a bowed out PPF means neoclassical, multiple inputs. A straight, a linear PPF, Ricardian model, labor is the only input. Okay, so keep that straight because the you'll see these two in a couple of uh, different, uh, couple of different contexts. So a couple of things to note about the PPF. The slope of the PPF, actually the absolute value, is equal to the opportunity cost of pr producing, if we've got x on the vertical axis, it's going to be the opportunity cost of producing X. Now, if you 
put y on the vertical axis or the horizontal axis, that would be that would be reversed. But the way we've drawn it, the slope of the PPF, opportunity cost of producing x. Now we'll go into that in much more detail in other other uh, material. But one of the things that you'll notice about this linear PPF is that the the slope is constant, right? Okay, slope is the is the opportunity cost. Work with the Ricardian model. You have a constant opportunity cost. Doesn't change. If I produce only y, I only produce uh, x, or something in between, the opportunity cost remains unchanged. Again, we'll go into the the reasons for that in another video. In a neoclassical framework with the Bodau PPF, well, if I'm producing up here, mainly Y, so I've got it producing, m most of my resources are producing Y and only a little bit in X. Slope of that PPF is relatively flat, lower opportunity cost for X. As I produce more and more X in less Y, that slope gets bigger and the opportunity cost rises. So in the neoclassical framework, opportunity costs are rising. Now just as a, a little bit of a digression, this is another way of saying that the supply curve is upward sloping. The cost of producing something goes up as you produce more. So a standard supply and demand with an upward sloping supply curve really is another way of looking at this. More you produce, the costlier it is. Okay, um, one final thing has to do with what happens if we change the amount of resources. We said that a PPF was drawn fully employing all of your resources. Well, what if the amount of labor increases? You've had a population increase, there's, a, there's immigration, whatever. More uh, labor force participation by women. You have more people in the workforce. Well, let's look at that. This is just you know, a, a brief introduction to this. We'll go into this in more detail in other places. Okay, so there was the PPF in the Ricardian model for a given technology, for a given amount of labor. If you increase the amount of labor, that PPF shifts out. That reflects that you will be able to do more. You'll be able to produce more. But in this case, again, for reasons that will become clear later, that opportunity cost stays the same. The slope remains the same. It basically has to do with constant returns to scale. But again, we'll talk about that someplace else. But you have a shift out in the PPF. If we were looking at a neoclassical it will shift out the particular way it shifts depends on some other things. So I, I don't want to really go into that now, but I do want to keep in mind that as more resources become available, more labor, you're going to shift things out. The, the PPF is going to shift out in the same way as the, uh, the Ricardian model. The, the slope of the PPF, how that changes, how the opportunity cost changes, really depends on a couple of other things, which I don't want to go into now. Anyway, it's an introduction to, to PPFs. You'll use that a lot in, in many different contexts, especially in a trade course, uh, but in other uh, situations as well. Again, it's, te it's telling you about the, um, the possibilities of production. And importantly, keep this in mind. The slope of the PPF gives you the opportunity cost. That'll be a very helpful thing to remember as you go forward.